Hey there, it's Mark. I started collecting in 1998. Yeah, that's the 30th anniversary of Hot Wheels. This 2003 car day calendar, it was released for the 35th anniversary of Hot Wheels. Yeah, Hot Wheels started in 1968. I was a kid, I grew up on Hot Wheels. Here's a couple of cars. That was Purple Passion. This one is Overboard 454. All the pictures in here are by Mattel. By the way, it came with this custom 69 Chevy pickup. It's not the only Hot Wheels model that you would find in these sets. I started my YouTube channel in 2006 and in 2012 I started doing case unboxing videos. Yeah, I've been doing them for over eight years now. This M case, it came up with a uh, reissue of the 69 Chevy pickup. It had a casting change. They made it a little bit different. So I did a review of this on my Mr. Grooves channel. And that's what that's, this case unboxing video got this car. So I did this on Race Grooves. I did a casting change video on Mr. Grooves. And then I remembered, hey, wait a second. I got that truck right there in this calendar. But this video I'm going to put on Race Grooves TV. We'll have a peek at the package. Nothing much on the sides as far as the back. These three, I'm going to show you them coming soon. This text, I'll take a picture to make it easier for you to read. Like I said, all these photos are by Mattel and Mac Reagan. I'm not going to take a picture of each page. We're going to flip through and look at all the cars that they use for the days. Maybe you're an old timer like me and say, oh yeah, I remember that car. Remember, I got that car. Oh, oh, I need to get that one. Or maybe you're a newer collector. It's like, wow, there's a whole world of Hot Wheels that you never even knew about. By the way, I asked Mac, he's a friend, if he would mind if I would show his pictures and he didn't mind. These pictures actually came out of a book that he published. So I have a link in the description as well as some social links if you'd like to follow Mac yourself. I opened this up long ago. I don't know, maybe just to check out the pictures. And then I kept it in the container. There's the truck. I'm not gonna keep it anymore. I kind of thought, hey, should I just sell this on eBay? And then I thought, you know what? Mm, you know, they're only, you could get them for five bucks. I thought five bucks is not worth it for me to sell. As you can see, it just has this plastic container and this page a day calendar sits in it. And let me go ahead, I'm gonna set this to the side. Oh. Let's get this where it looks nice right there. Well, actually, we're not even going to see it in a second because I don't think so. I am going to, let's see, got a clipboard. Let me see if I can get this, park it in here so I can hold it. Uh, too many pages. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, you get a sneak peek. Hey, look, classic caddy. Uh, so let me set this up, get a good angle. I think I'm ready to go. Now these images, they all look okay on camera. You can get an idea what they look like. I'm not saving any of these pages. This is published in 2002. If you want better pictures, that's, that's why you buy the book. Here you go. January 1st. You can see that, right? I won't, I'm not going to say, oh, I might need a bit. I might need more of an angle. There we go. I'm not going to say the date. You can see the date all the time. Oh, Highway 35. Yeah, this 35th anniversary. The only thing is that this was made in 2002. So if you're expecting any Highway 35 cars, uh, there's not going to be any. Because this was before they made, they made the cars or made the movie. So I'm not reading the date. You can see that. I will say the name. And I'm going to say this right here. That's about it. Hot heap. Here's an old red line. It has a red line tires. This is a nice car to get if you want to collect red lines. These are a bit more expensive to buy. And uh, sometimes it's hard to get with the good glass because they would get stepped on, you know. I got to remember to keep an eye on only tearing off one page. Splitting Image 2, introduced in 1994. Works in the boosters, loops, and curves. It is a little heavy, though. Here you have Byway Man. Byway Man, introduced 1979. Uh, might have had other names as well. Oh, check it out. They call it a car a day calendar. Third, fourth, fifth, except it's not a car a day. <laughs> On the weekends, Saturday, here you have Saturday and Sunday, fourth and fifth. So they combined the weekends with one picture. 
Muttmobile introduced in 1971. It's another red line. And in the back, when you open this hatch, you can see a little dog right there. Not this one. That, that one's just posing. By the way, you can't see. Uh, I'm going to leave this. Oh, I can tear it off right now. Introduced 1971. So Mattel did all the pictures during the week. But for the weekends, they used Max pictures. So that's why you might notice that all Mattel's pictures kind of look like this with this background and Max. Of course, he posed his uh, at his place. Here you have Speed Machine introduced in 1996. All metal, metal body, metal base. A uh, neat streeter introduced in 1976. Cool little hot rod. They did reissue it. It has had a lot of releases. Here we have Tail Gunner, introduced in 1975. I wonder if those move. I don't recall. Nine, okay. Caribou, Caribou. You know what? This is an interesting Hot Wheel because if you have a model with opening doors, normally, you know, they open like this, right? Well, Caribou had gold doors. Oh, no. Uh, I think it opened forward, actually. As, mm, now I forget. Oh, it opened straight up. So the doors would just go straight up like this. Very easy. These doors are thin. It's very easy for them to get bent. Hard to find one in good condition. And there's red lines. 1974. But here that you can see, they went to the... I think this is a straight axle. Like modern day. Because the axle, you can see it right through that spot. Ta Talbot Lago, introduced in 1988. Where's all the Hot Wheels classics? You know, they don't do the Talbot Lago anymore. There's a lot of models that they don't do anymore. Here's a picture by Mac. Toy Fair, 1975. Ooh, he's got some pieces. Super Van, Hot Wheels Flying Colors. Toy Fair, 1975. That's a nice one to have. Large Charge, 1975. Large Charge has had three names. Large Charge, Silver Bullet, and Arrow Flash. All names used by the same model. Over the years, I should say. Here you have Enforcer, introduced in 1996. Mm, they released this a few years ago. I think it was changed. Uh, I think this part has been changed. Good topic for a casting change video on Mr. Grooves. Here you have Screamin', introduced in 1985. You know these funny cars, a lot of them use the same base, and then they just use a different body. So sometimes you look at the name of the name on the base and it doesn't say anything, so you don't know what actual body style this is. Mm, kind of. I don't know if this is the Ford Probe funny car. I don't know. Flame Runner. Here's another car that's had a couple years, a couple names. I like those Ultra Hot Wheels. This one's in from 1984. Zender Fact. 19 introduced in 19. 91. That one had a lot of releases too, but we haven't seen it in quite some time. Spider Man. This is a pretty cool car. Uh, this might be the only color pattern it was released in. I, I don't recall it uh, being released in any other colors, just like that. 1979. Power Rocket, introduced in 1975. This is a good track car. Early on, when this was released, you can open this hatch. This is the driver's canopy. You can open this. And right here, you see there's a uh, gap right there. Well, the modern version, this is now sealed. And the body is, the canopy is sealed with the car. You can't open it anymore. It's a very good track car. Kids like it a lot, the uh, Power Rocket. Here we have Sir Rodney Roadster, introduced in 1974. I have a yellow version myself. Uh, you can pop off that mm, hood, roof. Oh, Big Rig Stunt Show set. I think I bought one of these for Truck and Tuesday, and I haven't reviewed it yet. I don't know if I'll ever get around to it. 1989 comes with the 57 Chevy. I'll move that a little closer. The 57 Chevy. Now i got to make sure I get it back in its position. And so that's a regular size Hot Wheel. So you can tell how big this is, because that's a, I'm pretty, or is that a regular Hot Wheel? Now I'm, now I'm forgetting, I'm not sure. Evil Weevil, early red line, 
introduced in 1971. My daughter, she likes slug bugs, so she has at least one color. I think I bought her a green one, because green's her favorite color. Camaro Wind, introduced in 1997. Now, I said I started collecting in 1998, but there were still 1997 cars hanging around on the pegs. So I bought this car right off of the peg. Four-wheeler. They call it, they said, four. that was actually called something else. Mmm, te teed off. This is the new name, four-wheeler. When it was introduced in 1999, I'm pretty sure it was called teed off. Gremlin Grinder, introduced in 1975. It might look familiar to another car similar to the name, Gremlin Grinder. Eh, AMC could be. Trike Car X8 has a little wheel right here. <laughs> it doesn't roll very well. And when I mean little, I mean a little wheel. It's all right. I had to get one. It's red, white, and blue. Coming up to the end of January. Flame stopper. This this right here, you can turn it. It rotates. And this goes up and down. Introduced in 1988. We haven't seen this model in a long time. They don't recolor it. TNT Bird, introduced in 1970. This is, <laughs> this one's going to be expensive for you to acquire. Any of these spoiler models from the early Redline era, spoiler, they'll have a number on the door, they'll have a blown engine, no hood. Yeah, this one's going to cost some money. And the last one they chose for January, Rigor Motor, introduced in 1994. Let's see, what do we have for February? Another early red line. A matter of fact, first year, 1968, Silhouette. They've made a Silhouette 2, a sequel. This one, uh, it's kind of neat. It's got the bubble, bubble canopy. But as far as racing, mm, these wheels, for some reason, they get, they get bent very easy. Here's a classic I was telling you about, like Talbot Lago. Don't see it very often. Uh, they haven't made it in a long time. Introduced in 1982. I know it was a treasure hunt around 1998. Mercedes 540K, in case I forgot to say the name. Big Chill. That one's final run. They'll never make Big Chill again. Introduced in 1995. Final run was a series where they gave it one last release and said goodbye. No more. So Big Chill is gone. Here we have Dirt Rover. Introduced in 1997, but actually, this might be one of the Corgi castings that they acquired because they bought the company that had the Corgi cars. So this might be a tool that they acquired from that, and it might not. They it might have been introduced in 97. I don't know if it got recolors. They might have done it once, maybe twice, and that's it. They let it go. Didn't do any more after that. What is this? Why Tangi Day in New Zealand? Interesting. Avis Quattro, introduced in 1993. Pretty good track car. Here you have... I was just thinking. I wasn't looking to see which ones were Max pictures. You got the... Max got the red lines. I was curious what the other stuff... Anyways. Here you go. Letter getter. I used to work for the post office. So when I started collecting, I had to get the letter getter. Introduced in 1977. This version is not actually the first release... The first release had red line tires and it had a metal base. So this part, part would be metal. And then, you know, as they start changing things to uh, get some cost savings, this got changed to plastic. And then you have the regular basic wheels. Baja Bruiser. Wow, what a fantastic angle showing the motor. But it would have been kind of neat to, you kind of miss out seeing the sides, but you know. Mac wanted to take different kinds of pictures. So there you have Baja Bruiser introduced in 1974. Lola GT70. This one, 1969. Red line wheels. It has an opening hatch. You can see the line right there. So you can open it up to see the engine bay. Nice car. Troop Convoy. Wow, it's only the 11th. It's taking... There's a lot of pages. 300, well, it won't be 365 because it's not a car a day like they said. Troop Convoy, 1984. 
This might pop off. That's plastic. Six wheeler. Here we have the 59 Caddy introduced in 1991. This one, I wonder if this was the one in the Real Rider series. I forget. That's definitely rubber tires. Radar Ranger introduced in 1988. This is a moving part. It spins around the radar dish. For Valentine's Day, Flash Fire. I think they would have had something better for Valentine's Day. Introduced in 1992. Pack and Pacer. Kind of looks like the Gremlin Grinder I was talking about. Introduced in 1978. And people talk about Hot Wheels having metal bodies and metal bases. You know, they had plastic bases when they were introduced too. Police Cruiser, 1996. If I'm not mistaken, this is one that's uh, it's on a blue car. It's a little more expensive to acquire than other blue cars. I don't know if it's because it was hard to find or what. I don't know. Fat Fender 40. Here's one you want for downhill racing. Not this version because it has rubber tires though. Metal body, metal base. Haven't seen that in a long time. Bubble Gunner. Oh, typo. They, they called it Gummer. It's supposed to be Gunner, you know, like a gun. Bubble Gunner. Oh, no, Gummer. Bubble gum. Wow, I might have had the wrong. I, now I got to look because... I didn't even know that. I've been calling it Bubble Gunner. Bubble Gummer? Or maybe I'm just having a brain fart at the moment. This is a funny car. 1979. Larry Wood designed this car. And he got a lot of heat for it. <laughs> he gets teased all the time. He don't care. He likes his car. He designed it. Snorkel introduced in 1971. Looks like this moves up. This is a red line casting. By the way, Mattel for this... Uh, snorkel so this part right here they use this part for, for various models and then they would change this to, to have different types of vehicles so this one was snorkel landlord sometimes you want to collect uh, when you collect you try to have different niche different things to collect so if you want a car with an L starting with an L here's landlord uh, back in the day, there wasn't that many that started with an L. So that was one model that you can get to fill that hole. Evil Weevil, Double Demon, and Turboa. Wow, Mac put three cars. Maybe if maybe if he keeps adding cars like that, they'll get, get up to 365. Does he have more multiples? We're not supposed to be cheating and peeking. but uh, Well, there's a triple. That's the highest. Here you have Evil Weevil, Double Evil Weevil. Double Demon, because see, there's two heads. And Turboa. I like Turboa. I like snakes. It's cool. But uh, actually, this is pretty good for the boosters, loops, and curves. This one is an open wheeler. You don't want to send it through the booster. Got ultra hot wheels. Not this one. Basic wheels. And for Double Demon, you can't see your wheels. Limousine, introduced in 1991. Uh, that one's gone. I don't know what I haven't seen that in a long time. I, I don't remember if they did a final run for that. Whip Creamer, introduced in 1970. Um, this one, I think you can spin. You might be able to blow in and spin a thing there. I forget. This is a fast car. Big chunk of metal. Airport Rescue. This is an answer to a Hot Wheels trivia question. How many? Name a Hot Wheels model with four axles. And there you go. Airport Rescue introduced in 1981. And it looks like these spin around. I have one. It's not in mint condition. This is in very good condition. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I don't see any chips on the corners. That's a very nice condition. Oh, that's not Max. That's Mattel. Roger Dodger introduced in 1974. Look, it's 1974 and it's still getting released. So 74, 84, 94, 04, 14. Look, we're coming up on uh, 50 years for the Roger Dodger. Road Rocket, introduced in 1996. It's a track car. And this part right here, you can open up this canopy. It snaps in right there. Lots of times you can find these in the package where that had popped off. Because it, it just snaps in and it just kind of hooks on the back. So it's, it's not unusual to find that loose in the package. Ah, early days, 1970. Here you have the sand crab. 
first five about the first five years of Mattel, they, you would get a button with the car, a metal button. So here's a well, it's kind of hiding, but there's Sand Crab. We're into March now. Jaguar XJS introduced in 1978. Nice sleek model, but I'm I'm looking at the picture. It's kind of a looks like the body's kind of bumpy. I don't think that's the paint, or maybe it could be. Yeah, it's looking a little look either the tooling getting old or not a great batch of paint. Monster Vet lifted up. You can see it's got the uh, lifted uh, body, big wheels. Ash Wednesday. Remember, I told you that they would use this part right here for different vehicles, uh, or this one was the one. Anyways, whatever. We'll find out. I don't know. Ash Wednesday moving van introduced in 1970. Looks like it pivots right there. I should have one of these somewhere. Speed Shark introduced in 1991. So, okay, track car. Ratmobile still around. Yeah, it took a break for a long time. This one introduced 1988, uh, but they, they, it has been released in at least the 2010s. Ranger Rig, check out those red line tires. Very nice. This one, 1975. Yeah, that's been around for a long time too. Uh, they, they do have a blown engine version. That's kind of fun stuff. A-OK introduced 1978. Eight early times. This is a car club in, I don't know if it's just in California or if it extends throughout the West into the rest of the U.S. I'm not sure. March 11th Turbo Streak introduced in 1983. There's people that like to collect the Turbo Streaks. It's gone, haven't seen in a long time. Check out those nice rubber tires. And you can see Goodyear, Goodyear rubber tires. So that would be a that might have been part of a series called Real Riders. Rubber tires. Nowadays, premium cars have rubber tires. Here you have the phone truck introduced in 1984. There's a there's a guy on top of the phone thing. He's hiding. But uh, you know, I had to get this one for some reason. I'm not sure. I don't recall if this one actually has a variation with a phone number on it or not. Larry did put his phone number. Or a phone number on a model, and that was a mistake. <laughs> People were calling them. Yeah, oh well. Super Comp Dragster introduced in 1998. This one, you are going to get a variation with the number of logos here. I don't remember if, which variation this one is. I haven't seen this car in a long time. Bifocal, 1971. Early red line car. And this, this uh, engine hood, you can see right through it. It was transparent, just like the window. You can see the engine. I don't know if it's called bifocal, actually, because it has two and two. Uh, good question, huh? Didn't dawn on me until just this moment. 32 Ford Delivery, introduced in 1989. Hey, hot seat. Now they have another uh, toilet car. Hmm, I can't think of the name of it. It's one of those ones where you move the car and then it has an actuator on the wheel and so the toilet seat lid pops up and down. Fun stuff. Yeah, maybe people don't like it. I like it. Tail Gunner, who introduced in 1987. Might have moving parts right there. School Bus. This is a skinny model. This is a... Uh, I'm not positive if this was actually released in a single. It was released as part of other sets as what well, uh, some sets. Hmm. We'll move on. I don't know. I just know it's skinny and it's a plastic body. Torero. Uh, what do you think? It looks like a Corvette, eh? Let me get my angle. Let me move a little bit. Oh, that's why as I'm getting further down the page, it's changing my angle. Here you have the Torero. I have several colors of this. Like it. it's kind of a Corvette styling, introduced in 1969, second year of Hot Wheels. Top Eliminator. This might be a funny car. It might open up if I recall correctly. Has a red line tires. Solar Eagle. I'm in Southern California, so this one's kind of special for me because I don't know if you can see it says Cal State LA. 
I'm not very far from there. So they had the solar competitions to build. They have, I don't know if they still do it every year, but they'll try to make uh, solar power vehicles. This top side is like a reflective blue. It's very cool for a model. Introduced 1998. I know there was one released in an action pack. March 24th, Shadow Jet introduced in 1988. This is a fast car. T42, uh, T42. It looks the same no matter which way you go. If you want to know what this side looks like, it looks like this. Red line, 1971. Road Roller introduced in 1987. I'm wondering if this was another Corgi model that they acquired. 1989, here you have the Ambulance. This had many years of releases. Treadador. I think this went to the final run. This will not be released again. Introduced in 1993. It has wheels underneath. These treads don't move. There's actually wheels underneath the model. Oh, Volkswagen Beach Bomb introduced in 1969. Yeah, this is going to be an expensive red line to acquire. Oh, Mac. Mac's got a uh, Beach Bomb. Very nice. This is a side loader beach bomb. When they first designed this, they designed it with the rear loading beach, uh, surfboards. And what happened is that it was too skinny. It would, you know, the boosters, when you stick it through the boosters, it would go right through the boosters and the booster wouldn't grab it. So after they made a uh, hundred or so prototypes with the rear load version. And when they realized, well, it's too skinny, then they added these side pods and then tuck the surfboards on the side, and that made the model wider so that it would fit boosters better. And that's the story of the Beach Bomb, introduced in 1969. Stutz Blackhawk, love this car. Oh yeah, it's gone. Went through the final run. That final run version was a beautiful car. That's the one you want to get. April 1st, we're in the second quarter of the year, January, February, March. Now it's April, May, June for the second quarter. Another one with a bubble canopy. Beaten It Bandic, introduced in 1968. Rig Wrecker, introduced in 1983. Nitty Gritty Kitty, told you about the spoilers. Open, no hood, lone engine. Have a, a racing number on the side. Introduced in 1970. Rail Rotter, haven't seen it in a long time. Now Hot Wheels has a new train. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, I don't have a loose one here. But anyways, yeah, Thomas. Maybe they're going to recolor Thomas. This is 1996. Maybe they're going to recolor Thomas and not have Thomas the Tank Engine on the front. Here you have Sweet 16. Introduced 1973. You haven't seen a release of this in the many, many years. Ambulance. Remember what I told you about this part right here? They reused this part. Pop a new thing on. Now call it an ambulance. Introduced in 1970. Cockney Cab. Yeah, there's collectors who like to collect this. Nice heavy model. Nice uh, pink. I don't know if it's a salmon pink. Introduced. 1971. 1970 Dodge Charger Daytona. This is the older casting. I think they've reissued this with a more modern casting. Grasshopper, not particularly an expensive red line to acquire, 1974. Oh, by the way, uh, so you notice how this it has Spectra Flame paint, red line tires, it was bent axle suspension. Kind of was expensive for them to produce, and then in 1973, I don't know if I've had a 1973 yet, but here, 1974, they went to enamel paint, cheaper for them to produce, or more affordable and went to regular straight axle to where the axle went straight across. With the bent axle, it kind of was like this, 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 this. And the reason it had all of this stuff inside is so when you push down on the car, it would have suspension and it would bounce. Straight axle, no bounce. Oh, cool one. This is, <laughs> to get one in nice shape, it's kind of hard because these are real skinny and they get bent really easy. Here's one with red line tires introduced in 1976. Palm Sunday, they have Suzuki Quad Racer introduced in 1987. Mac having fun with his pictures. Paradise. 
Here we have Alien introduced in 1988. This for downhill racing. Uh, Alien's pretty fast. Funny Money introduced in 1974. This version, there's another version. I think it has a, a plastic grill right here. It's it's an insert. It's the same body. It just has a plastic grill protector type thing. And a lot of times that part's missing. Uh, funny Money, it does open up. At least that's my recollection. This opens up too. You see that line? So I forget which way it opens. But it looks like this opens up as well. Cannonade. I have one where it had a He-Man decorations. Tank truck introduced in 1992. Uh, but this version looks like it has a plastic uh, back. I have some tank trucks where there's metal in the back. Interesting. I hope I didn't miss any days and grab two at a time. Here we go. Split window, 1963. Introduced 1980. It's called Split Window 63 because in the back there's a there's a frame that comes down right here and it splits the window in the back. Matter of fact, you can see the window curving around. But in the middle right there, there's support. Hey, we got another uh, twofer. Here you have go kart. It's so small. Introduced in 1998. I think this color is the first edition. Uh, I don't remember if I had this decos, but it was green for the first edition. The first one. There's another red line, early red line. Here you have a power pad introduced in 1970. Personal, personal, <laughs> personnel carrier introduced in 1982. This does not look familiar to me at all. That name doesn't look familiar to me at all. Hmm. I'm going to have to check that one out later. Excavator. I think this model, introduced in 1997, but Mattel acquired Matchbox. I think this model, they moved it over to the Matchbox brand, and it never got released in the Hot Wheels brand again. And that's my recollection. Here you have the X-T3. It's another model with a little tiny wheel in the front. Introduced in 1985. There was a time when Mattel said, look, everything has to work on the track. And after a while, they said, well, we can do other stuff too. And so Larry's like, okay, good. Now he does this. He does all these other types of things if they're not required to work on the track. Here you have the hydroplane. This one has been final run. They won't make this anymore. They have other hover type models. So you won't, uh, it's gone. Introduced in 1995. Race Team Blue, Twin Mill, Early Red Line. Ooh, Mac Reagan. It's got a nice little uh, Twin Mill. This is the first Twin Mill. And they already have Twin Mill 2, Twin Mill 3, Twin Mill E. Don't they have? Yeah, Twin Mill E, yep. Sand Drifter, introduced in 1975. Twang Thing. I had somebody post a comment once on uh, race crews. Hey, do you have 20 things? Yeah, I got 20. There's about a dozen colors and I have most of them. Has a guitar on the side. That's why the like uh, twang is a country when you sing and you have that uh, funny, I can't, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. 20 thing, you have that funny singing sound or a unique country sound. I shouldn't say funny. And there's your guitar and it's the same on the other side. This one works on the boosters, loops and curves. Ramp truck. People were so sad when Mattel said, eh, we're not making that anymore. It was fun to collect, but it's not exactly, this is small. It's hard to tell from the picture, but this is small. Oh yeah, very popular Hot Wheels car, Red Baron, introduced in 1970. This version has this deco right here. Here you have your original Red Line tires. And you know it's original because it has the pointy top. Imagine stepping on that. So after a while, Mattel just kind of made it a, a round nub. Let's see what else. Thunderstreak. This is another one. I told you kind of like indie year racing F1 type cars. People like to collect. This one has the Goodyear Rear Riders. Introduced 1985. GMC Motorhome Triple Axle. Hey, dude, what are you doing? Hey, this is kind of a neat model. I haven't seen the GMC Motorhome in a while either. Introduced in 1977. They have used it in the pop culture line. 
That might have been a few years ago. Here you have Royal Flash introduced in 1979. I have one with the British decoration, red, white, and blue. Fangster, one of the creature cars, introduced in 1986. Short order, 1971, heavy metal casting. Fire Eater, and no more Fire Eater. You know what, they did release this in the color changers, color shifters, but they made it a plastic body. Swing and wing, uh, this pops off. So if you're gonna buy a swinging wing, make sure you get it from a, a reputable dealer and you get an authentic original part and not a reproduction. Here you have three window 34 introduced in 1980. <laughs> Larry, this one, this one, see how it's popped up? This one might be a high raker to where you can take the body and the base and you can pop it up, give it a high rake, or you can squeeze it down, and make it look like a regular uh, hot rod. Larry got in trouble once. He he put like uh, two Z's on the side and ZZ Top said, hey, wait a second, that's our car. You put ZZ on the side, we gotta talk. So Larry got in trouble. He's talked about that a few times. Trash truck, oh, this is a cool car. I don't, I don't know if this was the only release but I definitely had to get it because it's so unique. 1982. Here you have the Dodge Viper, introduced in 1993, and has the gold ultra hots. That one had a lot of variations. Here you have Mod Quad, introduced in 1970, and I believe it has an opening part right here. Good, down, fast downhill racer. A little bit on the skinny side, a little squirrely maybe, but it is a fast. Mod quad for four inches. Right there. Quad. Here you go. Rev it up. The blimp introduced in 1982. You can turn this rotor right here in the back and it would rotate and there would be different sayings. Rash one. Introduced in 1974. I'm trying to think of the name of these. Uh, Brom. I forgot, forgot what they called this. There's like four or five models and they were all together in a class. Here's Rash. Can't think of it. Move on. Mini truck. Oh, yeah. I did a video on mini truck. Different variations. Here you have uh, Highway Robber in 1983. They call it Highway Robber, but it seems to me it was also called Short Order. Had different names. Or The Hood. Mmm. One of those. All of this I'm just flying off at the top of my head, collecting for so long. Some stuff you remember, some stuff you don't. Gold Stepper, 1985. That's long gone. Speed Blaster, decent track car. Metal body, plastic base. Breakaway Bucket, introduced in 1974. This is another model to where it might have had two different names. This one's Breakaway Bucket. And it might have been the same car with a different name. They do that sometimes. All of a sudden they decide to give somebody else a different name. Here's Team Trailer, remember what I told you? Certain, they came up with these different cab designs and then put something in the back and make it something new. Jack Rabbit Special, this one's really special because this was the one, you could get this one in the stores, a regular one, but then they had one, some type of special with Jack in the Box, and you can see the sticker sheet right there. So if you get one in the baggie with the, with the sticker sheet, that's pretty cool to have. I don't particularly have to have that. I, I got a, I got a nice mint one loose. Well, it was in the package until I opened it up, put it in the video. Here you have Big Bertha. That one's gone. 1985. They stopped doing this one. Rolls Royce Phantom II, introduced in 1984. Yep, Rolls Royce. Not a whole lot of Rolls Royce models by Mattel. This might have been the only one. Maybe it was a second one. Peep and Bomb. It's called Peep and Bomb because you see the windows right here. Wow, he has orange windows. He has an expensive one right here. Anyways, there's a little thing for you to pull and you can open and close the windows and the lights. And so that's why it's peeping because you can open it to peep and then close it. This is a nice little pocket rocket for downhill racing. Coming up to the end of May. Second Wind. Here's another one where Mattel might have gotten in trouble. That might look just a bit like Speed Racer's Mark V. Just saying. Introduced in 1977. 
73, here you have Street Snorter, kind of like a Maverick type model. Hey, we get another twofer from Mac, Motocross 1 and Street Eater, 1975. I do not have samples of this. Eh, I don't have to have motorcycles. I like to get samples of each casting, but I don't think, I don't know if I'll ever acquire this one. Had to have that one. Work for the post office. There you go, U.S. Mail. There's two versions. There's a blue and light blue. I remember that. This kind of looks like light blue. I'm not positive. Special delivery introduced in 1971. Special delivery. Mattel Hot Wheels. They also named special delivery for one of their monster trucks when they had the Monster Jam license. Oh, yeah. Vector Avtech WX-3 introduced in 1993. Only a handful of color variations. And that lavender, or whatever color you want to call that, beautiful. It, by the way, it might look like it opens. I don't believe it does. I think it's a plastic top right here. Cement mixer. Hey, hey, looking familiar? Mercedes-Benz C111. Opening gold, window, gold wing doors. Zombot. This Zombot, you know what you can do? You get the feet and it can stand up like that. You can stand up this Hot Wheel. There was a couple, at least two, uh, robot type Hot Wheels that they created. This one, 1987. Can't think of the other one. Starts, fan starts with a PH. Lamborghini Countach, introduced in 1988. Turbo Wedge. This one's 1980. Backwood Bomb, Backwoods Bomb, introduced 1975. I like this truck, especially with it having a camper shell. Mattel Velocitor, kind of a stalker. Stock car? No, st stock car. 1996. This is a China casting. This is when they had the plant in China still, making the basic cars. School bus, introduced in 1989. Formula 500, red, white, and blue. Had to get this one, too. 1976. Introduced in 1976. Spirit of 76. Uh, the United States Biennial. Wow, I forgot. Bicentennial. There you go, Bicentennial. Hummer, introduced in 1992. T-Totaler. I love this vehicle. I really like it. There's a couple colors, a few colors. I'm not sure which ones I have. Let me zoom in a little bit. My battery was dying. I had to change cameras. Now i got to get uh, re-centered here. Introduced 1977. Yeah, this, uh, when you get certain models that you really like or they're okay, fun to collect, this one, this one really brings me joy in owning. I really like that one. Here you have construction crane. Uh, remember we talked about trivia questions. Here's another answer to that trivia question. Which Hot Wheels models had four axles? Here you go. Construction crane. One, two, three, four axles. This moves up. This uh, pivots, spins around. Here you have double header introduced in 1973. Double header. This... Uh, uh, so 1973, I told you 73, they went to enameled paints, right? Another thing that happened is that uh, some models had a tendency, they're called crumblers, to where they had a bad batch of metal. And literally, it would literally crumble and come apart. This might be one of the vehicles that is prone to have a crumbler and it'll just, it just breaks apart. Just a bad batch of metal. This is expensive. This is not cheap to acquire this model. This uh, Here you have 65 Chevy Impala Lowrider. I said Chevy. It's not there. But anyways, 1998. This is from my first year of collecting. Beautiful purple color. It's hard to see in the picture here. Here you have a salt crawler. <laughs> I'm laughing because my, my p chunk of paper is getting kind of thick. I don't, I don't know if I want to tear it off. Because it's kind of starting to cover my uh, date here. And I think I am going to. Let me get my knife.
Okay, that's better. And now it's not covering the date. We're at June 20, so maybe we're halfway through the year. So this might be uh, the only break for that. Assault Crawler. Kind of was around at the same time, 1987. Seems to me it was around the same time as Big Bertha and other military-type models. Open Fire. This is a great downhill racer, but it's an expensive car to acquire. Introduced in 1972. Triple axle, just heavy. All metal. Solaire CX-4. A lot of people have fond memories of this car. A lot of people used to like to collect it. I think people enjoy having it in their collection. One of the models from the days when you can open it up and see the engine. Metal body, metal base. Customized VW Drag Bus. Introduced in 1996. This is probably the model that really started the explosion of collectors in 1996. A lot of people were looking for this model. It is a drag bus, it's like a funny car. So the back opens up. There's only a little plastic piece in the front that keeps the body attached to the base. I don't have one handy, but uh, it's a nice model to acquire. They still use it, but this is the only time it appeared in the basics. It was a 1996 first edition VW bus. Highway Patrol, Patrol introduced in 1978. All metal, waste wagon, there's that part again, 1971. Why not? You come up with something, the tooling, and then just come up with different uh, plastic parts for the back. Come up with fun stuff for the kids to play with, or for nowadays, us to collect, go back to our old days. A custom AMX introduced in 1969. Yeah, it doesn't look familiar. I don't know if I... I don't remember if I have a sample of that car. 56 Hightail Hauler, introduced in 1977. Has a couple bikes in the back. I'll go ahead and bring that in closer. And uh, this is another model people wish that Mattel would bring back, I'm sure. Here you have the Road King truck. Yeah, you're going to talk some money. <laughs> this, this thing's worth a lot of money. It looks like it has tipping accent. I can see a pivot. So it does look like uh, you can dump out your load. Road King truck introduced in 1974. I do not have one. So I'll just tell you right now, I don't have one. Here you have the classic Packard. This is another model that I'm talking about classics from the 30s. 30s type models just don't see them anymore. This one's from 1983. Metal base, metal body. The whole thing's metal. The fenders might be plastic. Roll Patrol. Yeah, it's a Jeep, you know. Rocket Shot. Big, I told you, Bert, Big Bertha and stuff. This was another model that was, to me, kind of seemed to be all around the same time. This is 96, but I always grouped this model with uh, those types of models. Not on my high point of collecting. Let me tell you, this one is. I always have to get red, white, and blue models with stars and stripes. That's what I like to collect. American Victory. This is a 1975 introduction. Hey, we get three of the superheroes. We get Captain America Van. You get the Incredible Hulk and Silver Surfer introduced in 1979 and 81. We'll go ahead and get closer. Now, see, they call it Captain America Van, but if you look at it, yeah, that's the GMC Van. The Hulk. Hmm. Spoiler sport. And this is not a popular car to collect. <laughs> When I started collecting, there was a version from 96. I was still sitting on the pegs. Beach Blaster or something, I forget. But anyways, if you notice in the back window of the, right here, see that circle? You can look in and they would have like a, uh, a scene on the inside. They were called scene machines. Uh, it seems like that's going to be one of the models that they use in the scene machine series. I could be mistaken. Just trying to remember everything. Over 50 years of Hot Wheels. Harry Holler introduced in 1981, 71. A lot, another pocket rocket. Smaller model and fast. Driven to the max. Uh, interesting. That was called something else. Anyways, skinny dragster type model. And this one introduced in 1974. Nope, I was thinking this flips down. But that's a uh, tractor type model. 
old number five. Oh yeah, 1981. People love this car, if, especially if you were a child in the 80s, you've seen this car. Uh, they did release another version called 5.5, old number 5.5. It was okay. It was it was a it was an update, uh, more affordable version for them to produce. Nowadays they have another uh, fire truck. Here you have the Shark Cruiser. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, it was in the movie. Introduced in 1987. Rockbuster. Introduced in 1976. 64 Lincoln Continental. Introduced in 2000. Hey, Lace Wheels. Peugeot 505. Introduced in 1982. Has the old basic wheels. Tractor introduced in 1992. Now I'm, now I'm noticing, and when when Mac told me about the resolution, I'm wondering if it's really like this. Oh, this is Mattel's pick. Uh, anyways, eh, it's a little bumpy. Anyways, here you have Tractor introduced in 1992. That's kind of more for the Matchbox uh, side of Mattel nowadays. Ice cream truck introduced in 1984. Candy, cola, ice cream, pizza. Uh, now they call it uh, Chuck Wagon. No, I don't. Um, they call it something else because of food trucks. It's not always ice cream truck. So now we have a food truck around the world. So now they give it a different name. It's had several names. Sugar Caddy introduced in 1971. Yeah, if you're going to want to collect red lines, you're going to have to get a sample of the Sugar Caddy. That one's very nice. A nice brown sample. Silhouette 2. Tow truck. There's that part again. Uh, what's it towing? Kind of looks like it's towing a python or a cheetah. I forget. Hmm, think so. Proper chopper. This might be the ones where this kind of pushes inside when it's in the package so this way it fits like this in the package and when you open it you can pull this out and make it full length this of course spins strip teaser introduced in 1971 yeah I don't know if I have a sample of this I should I, I take it back I'm pretty sure I have a sample but if I do it's like one and I think it's this color as a matter of fact pasta pipes <laughs> uh, this is Power pistons, I think. and But when they put it in this one food series, they gave it the name Pasta Pipes. Introduced in 1996. Very, very good Trek car. Cargo lift. Here's another one, right? Reusing part. Put something in the back. 1983. Don't have that one. Here you have the Aries wagon. I had to have this. I love collecting station wagons. So that's definitely a model that I wanted for my collection. I have it in the package, too, as a matter of fact. Someday I'll probably open it up. I like my cars loose. They take, just take less space. Unless I find one, I don't know, if, if I find one mint loose, then I could let my package version go. Because I'm satisfied with the mint loose. Super fine turbine. There's a fellow down south of me, Ted. Ted likes to collect uh, super fine turbines. He has prototypes. Yeah, he's got he's got a superb collection. Ted Gray is his name. Super fine turbine introduced in 1973. This is the year, and one of the reasons for the changes in the enamel paint in 73 is there was like a mm, recession. Plus there was problems with oil supplies, and. Plastic is made from oil and, you know, everything got expensive, so they had to cut costs in 73. Sales were not good, and it was not looking good for Hot Wheels in 1973, but they survived. They pulled it up. Turbo Flame, introduced in 1996. This is a cool model because this part right here, you can't see well, but it kind of has like a flame shooting out the back. Here we have Forklift. This goes up and down. 40s Woodies. 40s Woody introduced in 1980 and is that it for the July nope one more for July there you have sting rod introduced in 1988 uh, they changed this now too this is not the same this part on a modern day release of sting rod 
which the last one was sometime around 2018. It was in a holiday series, Spider-Man series. Uh, yeah, they changed that part. Now we're into August. We have Bug Eye, Red Lion Tires, another expensive one to acquire, 1971. Spectra Flame Paint, Red Lion Tires, original Red Lion Tires. Here you have the Son of Gun, and they did reissue this one, but they only use it in the premium lines. As you can see, it pops up. Otherwise, you pop it down, and it's just a normal van type vehicle. Shock Factor, you might, you might recognize that from a movie. Yeah, Toy Story, introduced in 1992. Simpsons Family Camper. This was another one where they had scenes. You look in the back. I think there's two vehicles. They had the Family Camper. I don't know what the other vehicle was off the top of my head. Introduced in 1990. Taxi. I like that car. I like it a lot. It had gold, uh, gold Ultra Hot Wheels. Fuel tanker, there you go again, 1971. Seasider, this might have been the one to where I said, look, this one, there's two different, same name, there's two different cars. Seasider is the one that came with the plastic boat in the back, 1970. Street Beast, yeah, this one's gone. If you get the final run version, just beautiful, just beautiful. GT Racer. Oh, yeah, where'd you go? But it's too heavy, just like Solaire CX4, I think. It's too heavy. It's too much metal. And they have enough other cars to make. This is a pretty nice uh, color sample for GT Racer. GT Racer. Uh, do they try to make it look like a Ford GT? Change it a little bit? I don't know. Radio Flyer Wagon. Oh, yeah. What a what a nice... Hot... Oh, getting down to my cut this is a nice fun stuff now uh, radio flyer wagon 1996 remember they made the uh they made a shopping in 98 they made a shopping cart and they made a toilet and then like 20 years later they remade those i don't think they remade a wagon yet pit crew car this is another one that's notorious for being a crumbler yeah see 1971 to where the you can you have to really look it over don't buy one online and if you're going to buy one online, get a picture of the base. You want to see the base to see if it has any cracks. Nice heavy model. Racer rig. There you go. 31 doozy. What a doozy. Uh, love collecting the doozy. It's really one of my favorite cars. They put it in the final run series, so it's gone. They will not make it anymore unless they come up with a new version. But uh, that's it for this casting. I would love for them to come out with another one, but what they tend to do, they come out with another one, call it custom, and it's it's like skinny, make it all fancy. It's, I don't like it. Shelby Turboing, introduced in 1969. Remember when there was that car, and they said there's like a series of four cars? This is another one of that series of cars, a little segment of cars they did. Uh, Bronco Racer, Shelby Turbine, and then whatever the name of that other model was. And you see, see these pods? The car actually just released like this, but we we're talking about boosters. So I don't know how you can get these pods. They must have been included in the package. I don't know. Or maybe this is prototypical. I, I don't know. But you could pop these onto the car, so now it'll work in the boosters. Of course, you're still going to bend your axles. But that's another story. Hey, you see this right here? This looks like it's going to be part of this. Hmm. What for? Nice downhill racer. Custom Charger, 1969, second year. I have a few colors of this. It looks great in Spectra Flame because there's so much body, so much metal. And then when they give it a Spectra Flame color, it looks fantastic. Might have an opening hood. Recycling truck, introduced 1992. One thing about this truck, it looks great, but uh, it always falls apart. You have to keep putting it back together. It, it just nestled. It just nestled in there. It doesn't snap in or anything. Jet Sweep X5. This is a fast car. I only have one sample. And I don't like racing it too much because I don't want to get the axles bent. Odd job. Hmm. Odd job. 
Kind of looks a lot like the uh, Mutt Mobile, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Reissue it, give it a new name. Maybe because somebody else copyrighted the name Mutt Mobile and they weren't allowed to use it. I I'm not sure. Thomasina 3, love this car. Here's another one that's kind of a bit Corvette styling. And this was introduced in 2000. There's red, there's blue. I'm trying to think of the other colors. Seems to me it might have been black with flames as well. Hmm, double decker bus, 1983. Doesn't look familiar to me. Double decker buses are, are more popular with Matchbox. Matchbox had a double decker bus that issued for decades. So long, so many years. Dogfighter, spinning propeller. People are going to remember this car if you're from the 90s. This one, 1996. Or I should say, if you were collecting in the 90s. Here you have Power Plower. Byway Man. Remember, I talked about there's another truck that was like that? Here you go, Power Plower. Just put an attachment right there, and now you call it Power Plower. Another red, white, and blue steam roller. And there's a variation with the stars right here. Five stars, I think it is. Of course, I have to have both of those. Uh oh, I almost did it. Way too fast. Introduced in 1997. People loved collecting this car, and it has not been seen in quite some time. What people like to do is they. <laughs> you know what they would do is they would buy a bunch of way too fast and then they would chop this part out right and then they they would connect them all together and they would make a really long way too fast with all of these engines fun stuff and then to connect it in the middle they would just use a, a piece of metal fun stuff good times remember that the bus that i said was skinny i think that's the same bus i'm pretty sure that's the same bus and then they call it rapid transit but actually, Rapid Transit is a Hot Wheel. Yeah, it's a car that works very good in the boosters, loops, and curves. I'm pretty sure American Hauler, guess who owns this? Yeah, red, white, and blue. Got to have that. School Bus, another funny car. This is a fantastic downhill racer. It's part of the Heavyweight Series. And this pops up and down. Real nice stickers attached to it. Yeah, very nice sample there. There's a, uh, on the inside, there's like a plastic rack. So if you buy one loose, make sure you have that plastic part. Turismo. Did I say that right? Turismo. I guess. Close enough. 1981. Noodle Ed. These, the, these are the cars that my family races at the convention. Jeremy has his school bus, and we have some Noodle Heads that we race. Champion downhill racer right there. It does have a, a little teeny opening hood. It, it does not open. It just like kind of peaks. Very small. But it has a noodle head. Get it? it has all these exhaust pipes right here. It makes it look like it has a, a noodle head. Very good racer. Malibu Grand Prix. 1982. Mercedes-Benz Unimog. This looks like it was uh, rubber tires right here. Introduced in 1991. Hey, I'm glad that he twisted the head, or they did. Rodzilla, 1988. Yeah, you can twist the head. They might have changed this, though. I, the, whenever it was released the last few times, it's been a few years, I think that was fixed in place. You can't rotate the head anymore. Rodzilla. Double vision. Hey, double vision. It looks just like that other one. Speed, speed something. Classic 32 Ford Vicky. Here you have a red line model from 1969. This is another one that's really nice to collect for Spectraflame. You have all this area to see the nice, beautiful color. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All-American Firebird. Here you have the Hopbird, 1978. Right? Just after the American Bicentennial. So there you have Patriotic Decos. I uh, definitely have a few. I have a few of these. Power Pistons. Uh-oh. I call that other car Power Pistons. No, Power Pipes. I do that all the time. Fantastic track car. This one, 1995. Introduced. Oh, Mongoose and Snake Dragsters. Yeah, you know, Mattel sponsored Snake and Mongoose during this era. So they had lots of Hot Wheels. And you see how they have these little wheels right here? So you can pop wheelies. They have track sets. 
and you the cars when they go down the track they, if they could hook onto the cars and a flag would come out i mean a uh, parachute would come out at the end of the track it would drag it out and so it, it was just like you were drag racing oh mac mac has these hmm mini trick i told you mac has a lot of cars a lot of brands not just hot wheels let's see what else do we have here mini trick i like this i just like this model a uh, mini trick i'm not sure if it has this name with all these releases it might be a little hard to see but it does flare out it's kind of slender here and then it flares out wider in the back uh you know i like vans i like campers i like station wagons or estates if you're in the, in europe i like that skull rider this is a pink so this is a plastic part, but they gave it a metallic pink color. Looks good. Can't tell in this type of paper, but it is very, very reflective. Gunslinger, part of the military series of cars that they release. And black wall, I mean, red striped tires, red lines. This moves, introduced 1975. I think they had like five, five military cars that were released at the same time silver bullet i told you silver bullet arrow flash and whatever that other name was <laughs> 1985 iced tea it's a plastic cap comes off or you know you can lose it i mean old 442 there you go nice uh nice stylized image by mac reagan even though you might want to see how it looks and it does have an opening hood right there. Here you have the Sky Show Diora. See, now you have the Diora, this is the original Diora. And the regular Diora had two surfboards. This version came with Sky Show. They were little airplanes that you could put here. And I think they launched with rubber bands. And that's why it's a Sky Show, because you can launch your little airplanes into the air. Turboa, we've seen a yellow one already. Dodge Ram 1500, introduced in 1995. That might be a treasure hunt version. Seems to me that's a treasure hunt, actually. 1995 treasure hunt. Uh, no. Hmm. Let's move on. Wheel loader. I don't know if this one moved over to Matchbox. Or Matchbox just made their own. Here you have Rocket by Baby introduced in 1971. Fantastic downhill racer. Fast. Of course, you got this metal, this metal, and then you put metal on top. It's, it's like a uh, soapbox derby to where you want to get as much weight as well, up to five ounces or whatever that limit is. Highway Hauler introduced in 1980. Yeah, Highway Hauler been around for decades, and now they have Highway Hauler 2. And I forget if there's another one after that. You're almost coming to the end of September. End of the third color. September, October, November. Yeah. End of the third quarter. Road Pirate. Hmm. This is, I think, part of a tattoo series. It's coming to me. I'm not sure. Part of a tattoo series. Special set of cars. Not in the basics. And this might be another car. And they just gave it the name Road Pirate. We have Tall Rider, introduced in 1985. Wait a second. Oh, no. I was thinking of Gold Stepper. Tall Rider. Is that the same? I don't think. 1985. Oh, yeah. Rambling Wrecker. The Rambling Wrecker. I mentioned that Larry put his phone number on a Hot Wheels model. And there it is. There's the phone number right above Towing. Yeah, what can you say? This is in the early days, 1975. Well, yeah, you, you learn, don't use other people's ZZ, uh, and don't put phone numbers on it, because then people call that number, even if he just made up a number. That number might be somebody's phone number. Uh, classic chord. Love this. I have two or three colors. I think the hood opens. 
This this is these types of cars are going to set you back two three hundred dollars from 1971 classic cord. Just really, it's a beautiful car in mint condition, of course. Salt Flat Racer introduced in 1997. These were hanging on the pegs when they started collecting. Here you have the Gleam Team 57 T-Bird. It's very interesting. It's textured. You see, you see that design? It's textured and you can scrape your finger and it's bumpy. Kind of neat. Kind of looks weird, but it was interesting. Science Friction. Mm, this one might have had different names. Might have had different names. This one 19, introduced in 1978. Try Baby. Uh, I don't remember if this opens up or not. It's a red line, 1970. Here you have Our Shoot, 1976. Remember I said they had a few military models around this time? There's one of them. I didn't know that was the name, though. I had no idea. Hey, hey, hey. Speedosaurus. Mattel has recently reissued... We haven't seen Speedosaurus in a long time. But they made a new dinosaur car. It's pretty cool. It has spikes. As a matter of fact, uh, the last one I got came with uh, that super rig right there in the back. I, I put away I put away the dinosaur car. Can I put them in my jammer so I don't lose them? Here you have Greyhound MC8. This is a Hot Wheels model. Metal base. It's all metal. Three axe, triple axle. This is a Hot Wheels model that you would like to acquire for your collection. It's just a classic piece. Here you have the custom fleet side. Hey, we got dice again. Max Pitcher. Nice he did that. Showed you lowing up your truck. Put it in there. It has a tonneau cover. But you know what? Uh, it's not going to fit. It's only it's only this deep. But, you know, your staging for a pick looks pretty good. Nice uh, custom fleet side. Columbus Day, Thanksgiving Day. They have the Dixie Challenger. Introduced in 1981. It's kind of very similar to Roger Dodger, I believe. Scorch and Scooter. Probably my favorite motorcycle to collect. They haven't reissued it in a long time. Introduced, first edition, uh, 1997. That's the purple color for the first edition. Scorch and Scooter. It did get a treasure hunt release. Sidekick. You might, you might know a modern Hot Wheel called Slidekick. Well, here is the original version. They called it Sidekick. And you would pull on the tailpipes, and this would slide out. This was metal, metal, metal. They had it for many decades, but then like in the 2000s, it went to a plastic base. And then nowadays, they, they just made a whole new model and called it Slidekick. And it doesn't look like this. It's different, but it does have this type of feature. Street Cleaver. Remember I told you there was a car? This is the one. Uh, this part here, you can fold it down so it's like you are, when you're driving, this will be like a rake. You put it up like this, and it looks like a dragster. It has the wing in the back. Or if you're out there working the farm, you put it down as if you're tilling, tilling the soil, I do believe. Oh, space van. Cool vehicle. This one, 1979. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I have a sample of that. If not, I'm going to have to get one. I like it. Odd Rod. Uh, this is this is very cool. Max doing a stylized picture, but it seems like I showed this already. But it had a different name. Customized C3500. <gasps> uh, this had a variation. I don't think this is a variation. There was a long stripe variation, so I think the long stripe actually went further. This might be the uh, common release. Here you have split an image. Excuse a helicopter if you can hear it flying over. Split an image introduced in 1969. It's kind of right here. It's this side, like that side, and this is there's a channel right here. It's not. It doesn't go straight across like a, a, the top of the car, the roof. Spoiler sport, I told you, I seen this one earlier. So it's nice to get another sample. And this way I know for sure. Yeah, that was the name. Spoiler sport. Gargoyle. Cargoyle. Not gargoyle. 
It looks like a gargoyle, but they called it cargoyle. Get it? Yeah. Witty stuff. In the old days, the designers used to get to name the car. Nowadays, they hire people who make the names for the cars. Here you have Street Rider, introduced in 1976. This is definitely a car that people like to collect back in the day. 53 Bel Air, introduced in 1999. This is an adult collectible. This might have been in the 100% line. They were in black box boxes with an acrylic, uh, in uh, hard acrylic display case. And I'm pretty sure that's where this one came from. If not, it definitely came uh, in, during the time where they did the Hot Wheels 100%. 53 Bel Air. Delivery truck. Just kind of a standard delivery truck. Introduced in 1989. This might also have the name Combat Medic. Hmm, seems so. Trailbuster, introduced in 1991. The Prowler, also had the name Demon. Another funny car called... Oh, funny car. <laughs> but they had different funny cars. Ford Probe and different, different ones. Oh, yeah, Stage Fry. Look at that one. This is, this is another classic Hot Wheels car. Pretty cool. Stage Fright, introduced in 1981. There's not that many variations. I, there might be only like two and then a third one that was in Mexico. Maybe. Oh, we got four. I still don't think we're going to get up to 365 cars shown. Not quite a car a day. So this was a series, Pearl Driver series. And you have the XJ220, Talbot Lago, VW Bug, Purple Passion. And here's the Talbot logo. We've seen that already. I think this is the first VW Bug that they've shown in the calendar so far. Oh, yeah. Jaguar XJ220. This one finally came back to the Hot Wheels lineup, at least recently. I'm filming this in, like, September of 2020. Maybe late October. I'm not sure of the exact date right now. Uh, there's your Purple Passion. By the way, Purple Passions, look for this in the back. See that license plate? Yeah, not all of them have license plates. That one, that changed mm, during the pink mystery car series. During the mystery car series, when they had a pink release, that's when that changed. Introduced 93, 88, 89, 90. Uh, I don't know which is which. Go! Wind splitter. Uh, this one, I think this is a BMW. This might be a BMW. And then for this release, it got the wind splitter name. Paddy Wagon. Well, they don't call it Paddy Wagon anymore. Yeah, it might not be an appropriate term. I forgot what they called it after this. Nice classic Hot Wheel. Shadow Jet 2. Not a track car. <laughs> oh, Thunder Roller. Not a track car either, but this thing's heavy. Uh, you want to have fun and do downhill racing? But look, not all cars are for the track. Some of them for, are just for driving around. Some of them are for racing. This Bondmobile, this came with a comic book. Uh, so again, it's a funny car. But this version, they call it Spawnmobile. Spawnmobile. And it was sold with a comic book. Comes on a card. Uh, but I don't know. I think it comes on a card. I'm not positive at the moment. Uh, I don't know if it was sold separately from the comic book. Do not know. And I believe there's a variation Custom Police Cruiser, 1969. This is a police cruiser, and they had a fire cruiser, too. There you have the Scooper. Combat Medic, I told you. There's the delivery truck, also known as Combat Medic. This one was 20th anniversary. As a matter of fact, this version they released. So if that's 20th anniversary, introduced 1986... That means this was not the first release. I don't think so. Anyways. Oh, Cyber Cruiser. I, it seems to me that this did not get very many releases. 1994. I just don't remember it having that many different releases. When I, when I started collecting in 98, I think there was a pink one or purple. I don't remember anything after that. Turbo Fire, here we go, getting back to some red lines, 1969, I'm not positive if that opens up or not. 
Hot Wheels 500, another indie type car. Race team decorations. Oh yeah, Poison Pinto. Another classic Hot Wheel. This one with red line tires. 1976. What do we have here? Monday, November 17th. Rescue Ranger. Huh. Didn't I show a Rescue Ranger already? November 18th. Are we going to have enough? To, oh, that's right, because I have some down here. Custom Corvette, 1968. Red line. It might have an opening hood. A lot of the cars back then had opening hoods. If they didn't have an opening hood, it would be like a spoiler. Sweet 16 2. I showed you a Sweet 16. This was a sequel. Doesn't look like anything. Doesn't look anything like the original Sweet 16. Dump truck. <laughs> yeah. Hey, go for it. Why not, right? 1970. This is another one. You got to look to see if it's a crumbler, by the way. I don't think I said it with those. Here's the hood. I don't remember what car that I showed another one. I thought, hey, it looks like the hood. There you go, 1971. Nice chunk of metal. Just fun to race. I don't remember if it's fast, though. Here you have Dream Van. Nice picture, Mac. Got a guy chilling. Got a dog. You have a dog sitting on the side. I did a video on this um, on race grooves. The Dream Van, they did reissue it for pop culture, but they got rid of this opening door. This one's very nice. It's nice that he has the real rider release. When he first started collecting, it's like, you know what? I want to get all the colors. So I got the real riders and I have the other colors. When they reissued it, I got like the first one with the new body with no door. And after that, it's like, eh, I don't need them. I don't need every color of every car. It's expensive. I'm not rich. Warpath, red, white, and blue. Uh, this is called Warpath. I think this is another car too. It just got Warpath. This war. I think this casting's got more than one name. I should say. Here we have Dumpin' A. This part dumps, hence the name Dumpin' A. Mega Destroyer. You know, it's like that other car I told you about. This has been changed, but uh, I don't remember if this is the same. I don't know if with Mega Destroyer. I don't know if they gave this. This part right here is the same, or is that unique to this model? I'm not positive. Here you have Dodge Rampage. Love this truck. You know, I, what do you call it a truck? I don't know, El Camino. But anyways, I like to, I kind of like to collect plastic tire vehicles, but I might have this in with the real rider version, just because I, I like the model. There you go, 35 Classic Caddy. We have to start holding it because getting down, getting down to the uh, nitty gritty kitty. Did we have a nitty gritty kitty yet? I don't remember. Here you go, 35 classic caddy, introduced in 1982. This also had a treasure. Was lucky to get a treasure hunt. Here you have surf crate, introduced in 2000. This surfboard is removable, but later on they made a casting change, and the surfboard is molded with the interior. Which brings us to December. Remember I said there was a model in the late 90s that was hanging around for a long time. I think it was called Beach Blaster. This is the same model. It's called Inside Story 1979. I don't know if I have this color. Because it's basically the same as other releases. It just got this name. So I like to have... I like to have each car at least a color or two, but if they change the name, it's not like I got to get that version too. Slide out. This is 1998 first edition. This one I first started, and this part this part comes off, and so does this part. As a matter of fact, so it's neat to have them in the package. But if you're gonna play with them, expect to lose that. Expect to lose that. They came out with another. Dirt track racer. These types of vehicles, you race around an oval and it's called slide out because when you race around the oval, you actually slide like you're drifting in the dirt. You slide. Uh, and so they did reissue an updated model like this. New tooling, new look. 
It did not get very many releases. Can't think of the name. But there's another type. If, if you like that type of dirt track racer, there's another one for you to seek out. Here we have December 3rd. Fire Engine, introduced in 1970. And there's that familiar part I was talking about. I know I have a couple samples of this. There's some variations. With the red lines, I didn't talk about this actually. It was made in the USA at first, then it moved to Japan, Hong Kong. And so because of those changes, you'll have different color interiors. White, maybe like a taupe or black. You'll have different windows. This one's bluish, you can have clear. So with the red lines, there's lots of variations like that. In addition to different colored bodies, I know enough to become fairly educated. I don't know everything. Third, fourth, here we have Show Off. Sure looks a lot like bifocal, huh? Just without the plastic part. Sandwich. Yeah, looks like Jackrabbit Special, doesn't it? Just like that Jack in the Box car I was talking about. Yeah. And that's the fifth, sixth, and the seventh. Classic Nomad. That was released for many, many years. I don't remember when the last one was released. 1970. 1970. Oh, yeah. And if you were in Highway 35, uh, they released this car on Highway 35. It was in the Wave Ripper series. And I think a lady drove the car in the, the show. Wait a second. Six, seven, eight. Good. I want to make sure I don't double tear here. Chaparral 2G. Love this car. This is one of the original red lines. I definitely remember owning. I owned a white version. This one is Spectre Flame Pink. Introduced in 1969. This pops out, so if you're gonna buy an original red line, make sure you get an original part and not a reproduction. Find a reputable person. If you wind up getting a repro, whatever. If it's a display piece, so be it. If, it, if it's not that important to you, don't worry about it. The ninth, there you have Street Rotor, 1989. Six Shooter. Another great downhill racer. Even though it's got six wheels, it's pretty heavy. It's just fun to do downhill racing with them. Here we have the 37 Bugatti. Another classic car during the era of the 80s and 90s when they were having cars like this. Mm, gone, gone. Don't do them no more. Boss Haas. This might be the club car. There was a club car. And when you send in, they had like some type of Hot Wheels club. That might be the club car, as a matter of fact. Here we have Bulldozer and Dump Truck. Mattel had these, I think they were two packs, and they came with a little canister of dirt. I'm wondering if these two were one of those two packs. This is the 13th and the 14th. I might, since it's Max Pick, I might have to email them and find out. Oh, yeah, GMC. Oh, no. Airport Transportation. There you go. GMC, Mo GMC Motorhome. Just give it a new name. Same same model. I think. At a glance, it looks like the same one. Here's another. I wonder if these were part of a Super Chrome series. It's Silver Chrome. King Cuda. Part of the Spoiler series as well. 16. 17. By the way, if you watch my Mr. Groove's video where I kind of gave a peek at this, you already know what the Christmas car is going to be. If not, you can just wait a minute. It's coming. Baja Bug. This one again, race team. This one actually is pretty good for downhill racing. It's heavy. Oh, here's an, I told you about the military cars, 1976. Here you go. Khaki Cooler, uh, a.k.a. the MP van. Khaki Cooler. This one's in pretty good condition. I don't see any chips, anything that looks like a blemish. I think it's just glare off of the uh, the features of the model. Here you go, Jet Threat. You guys know Jet Threat. Here's the original Jet Jet Threat. You might know 2.0 or Jet Threat 3, Jet Threat 4. I think they've already done four different versions of the Jet Threat. This one for December 19th, 20th, and there's another classic car. 
Auburn 852 introduced in 1979. Gone. I don't remember. Yeah, it was final run, too, as a matter of fact. I think it was Silver Chrome for the final run series. Fire Chaser. Oops. Hold it up so they can see it. 1979. There you go for the 22nd. I'm holding it closer to the camera, and then I wind up cutting off some information. There you go, the 23rd. Dune Daddy. Kind of, I think it's Sand Crab. Doesn't it look like Sand Crab? New name. Here we have Swing Fire. I don't remember. It had to have, I don't remember if it had this side of wheels. It has to have tiny wheels back here, huh? Swing Fire. Gone. There you go. Merry Christmas. December 25th. Tea Bucket. It's a model I... When I first started collecting, I said, I have to get every variation. So I did. I sought out the Canadian versions. There's two different Christmas versions. I think the other one's red. Both have the Santa and the sack in the back. Now, tea bucket they did change it. Here's This is a gold part, chrome part, body part. When they changed it, my recollection, I think this is all one part now. It's been a while. Just going off the top of my head. Oh, yeah. I like this one. Jaguar D-Type. For the 26th, just a nice little pocket racer type car. That's the first edition color, by the way. Here you have Purple Passion. That's the name of the car. It's not always in purple, but that's the name of the model for the weekend of the 27th and the 28th. Nice white wall tires. These are plastic white wall tires. Blown Camaro Z28. Kind of looks like that other one. Gave it a new name. Wasn't it pink and white, the one that I showed you before? Getting near the end. I have no idea what's at the end. I just peeked at Christmas for sure. Here's another funny car, a Mongoose, introduced in 1970. Let's get a close up. Tom McGoon as the Mongoose. And who is last for the 31st? How, do, how am I going to sneak this? Let me tear this off. We're gonna, we're gonna peek at the top. We're gonna do it this way. And I'm not gonna peek. We're gonna see it at the same time. Well, I'm gonna see it before you because I'm recording this. But but we're gonna get the same experience. Here's the 31st. What's the car gonna be? Mm, I don't know yet. Oh, I know already. Just because of the color pattern. Starts with a T. There you go. Twin mill. Twin Mill 2. Yep. This is pretty cool. I don't remember if I have this color version. I love the Twin Mill. Twin Mill 2. Twin Mill 3. This actually, you it, you think it'd be a better track car, but it's kind of wide in the back. That's why I love the Twin Mill 3 probably the most. So I hope you enjoy this uh, presentation of the 2003 calendar. Oh! I have lots of channels. You can visit my main page, click on the channels, and you can see all the channels that I have. Or in the description below, I should have a channels link, and you can select a channel that you want to subscribe to. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting, and have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.